Hey everybody, just trying to get some videos made here. I haven't, I haven't put one up for a little while. Today I'm uh, just working on a carburetor here from uh, Can-Am or Bombardier. This is off of a 200, I think it's a Scrambler 200, this four-stroke motorcycle carb. I'm just looking at how I can clean it. It was all full of varnish. The thing hardly ran. A friend of mine uh, put some fresh gas in it. Played around with it a little bit, but he didn't he didn't take it apart at all. So we're just doing a trade and I'm, I'm fixing it for him. Obviously needs a new fuel filter. So it sat for a couple years. The gas varnished up really bad. You can see a little bit of yellow stuff still in there. But I wanted to see what it would take to clean this out because I was just using some slap shot here. It's great stuff, but it just didn't really do anything to it. I soaked it a bit in a container with some sea foam for a while can of sea foam that I think it was loosening it up but it didn't really do much so just reading online and whatnot I found that I thought you know what, I'm just gonna try some of this Castrol super clean it's it's good stuff it's pretty corrosive it cleans grease cuts grease really well this is not a paid endorsement but I just cut it with hot water about 20% and super clean and scrubbed it a bit with a toothbrush I should have shown a before picture of this but you can kind of see a bunch of green crud in there it's coming off though that bright green stuff that's in the main jet there was actually all over the outside of it now it's all gone it's only been soaking for maybe an hour yeah this you should have seen what it looked like before I put it in there you can kind of see in there where some of that stuff's coming off some of the varnish it just it when I first took it out, the varnish was all wrinkled up and, and then it just started to come off. So you still some on the float, see how it's kind of bubbled up and wrinkled so that this is breaking it down really good. Only thing I'm worried, I don't know what it's like on the rubber. Like I don't, it's like I say, it's kind of corrosive. I hope it's not hurting the main jet. I'm going to pull the needle out though and see if, uh, you know, pull the floats out and I'm going to that all cleaned up in there so hopefully hopefully it doesn't damage the rubber and break the seal there you can see that maybe there's some moisture got in there I don't know it looks almost like corrosion there was a bunch of green stuff in there this is a four stroke it doesn't have any two stroke oil in the gas or at least it shouldn't have but that was all green full of green stuff I'm amazing this this thing ran but it was bogging out real bad of course running out of fuel obviously that's part of the problem there but I dug a little bit of that out with a screwdriver I should I shouldn't have done it. I should have showed you what it, what it looked like it's just Full of this bubbly look green looking stuff. So anyway, it's looking really clean. Like you see how shiny the brass parts are getting and stuff. It doesn't look like it's taking the corrosion, the plating, like the CAD plating off of the steel parts either. So it looks like it works pretty good. I'm gonna post a video of what it looked like when I first put this into the into the super clean and water solution. It kind of kind of started reacting, and you could tell that it was it was clean and really good it looked like and even hope that's what it was doing it looks like that's that's it so I don't know if uh, see if I can get a new gasket for the bowl here and stuff but I think this thing's gonna run real good when it just needs to be cleaned up I'm using a my paint gun cleaner kit so this is this is for cleaning spray guns it's got some little bottle brushes and stuff there and I'm just gonna clean it out I already sprayed some see the corrosion on there overflow tube sprayed some slap shot through the overflow tube here I'll see if I can hold the phone hold the phone that's that's looking nice and clean now not that that's gonna affect performance much might make it flood a little yeah so in the spray gun cleaning kit these are nice to have some torch cleaners in there that you can go ahead and clean out your orifices with those and stuff so I found that that works really good for little projects like this, not too much to a Makuni carb, but what I thought was impressive is how good the super clean worked if you're working on a cleaning up a carb and you can't get some really good stuff. Apparently the carb cleaner is kind of watered down and some of that stuff was pretty dangerous to work with, so make sure you got some good gloves, nitro gloves or something when you do this, but I think the super clean is going to do the job this time. I'm going to clean this up today and slap it back together and put it on the quad later today. I'll probably clean the pet cock and the fuel tank of the quad and put some more fresh gas. This thing you can see the, yeah, see that's that varnish I was telling you about. And it is sticky stuff. It would not come off. See that? Just scrape that off with a 
with a screwdriver and that's after this is soaking in the in that sea foam that's what it's called soaked it in sea foam for a while and it didn't even really soften it up so just throw that in there yeah so looks like it's, it's pretty decent stuff i can see a film of oily residue in there that's probably the varnish to come off it anyway something to keep in mind maybe i'll uh, i'll shoot a video of, like i say i'll share the video or i'll merge it into this one of what it looked like when it was reacting in there and bubbling away and then maybe i'll do another one here it's kind of hard to hold my phone while i'm working on it and take while i take it apart and show you what i find inside